welcome back to Quantum Health Transformation. Today we're going to talk about Step 6 Yellow, Detoxify and the Power of Emotion. Detoxification, I can't stress enough how important that is to your overall health and especially if you want to drop a few pounds. As most of you know from watching my videos, I've lost 178 plus pounds and I've kept it off for a number of years and this is part of the strategy that I use so that I can keep my weight down and keep my health as, as good as possible. I'm wearing my hair down today because I wanted to show you that the simple products I use are the ones I'm demonstrating today. And you can see that my hair is in pretty good shape. And I wanted you to see it so that you can know you don't need all those beauty products out there. You don't need the conditioners and the special shampoos and all that other stuff. Just a simple, simple cleansing program is all you need. So I'm going to start off by dealing a little bit with internal detoxification. And then while these things set, I'll move over to external detoxification. And then we'll come back to internal again. So the first thing I'm going to do is, the first thing I do every morning, is I'm going to take a glass. And I'm going to put my four different kinds of seaweed in the glass. So move these out of the way so you can see. I start with some filtered water and I put that into the glass to about, oh there, you don't need that much. And I take my favorites, kelp. I buy it in a powder form, as close to natural as possible. It hasn't been processed, it's just been dried and ground up. And I just take an ordinary coffee spoon and just put some on the end like that, put it in. And I put in some dolls. When you, um, if you, for more information, I'm hoping, I'm assuming that you've already watched the primers. So step six has three primers: uh, internal detoxification, no, external detoxification, internal detoxification, and emotional detoxification. That's where you're going to find all the details. You're going to find out why I take the seaweed every morning. The details. It's just so incredibly good for you. Um, I've had a lot of surgeries and a lot of problems with my stomach. And these are the things that, uh, the seaweeds that have really helped heal my stomach and my digestive system. But seaweed is so much more than even just the vitamins, minerals, proteins, etc. that are found in them. It also is a system that pulls radiation out of your system and toxins out of your system. And then it emulsifies it in the colon for a good exit, uh, exit system where it removes it from the body. And that's what you want. You want to remove radiation and toxic chemicals from your body every single day. So I incorporate this right into my food plan. So I've got here uh, dulse, kelp, bladder rack, and Irish moss. Now the reason I use more than one type is because each one has different components for, your, for uh, rebuilding health. The other thing I want to mention is seaweed has um, a way of coating your digestive system. So things like bacteria, viruses, the E. pylori, which causes ulcers, um, different things that cause stomach upset, troubles, digestive orders, they can't stick. They can't get their little hooks in there and grow. This keeps a nice sort of slippery surface to your digestive system. So it's really, really important. So I just stir that up in a glass like that. Whoops. I'm going to put that aside. Uh, and it goes from being kind of uh, gritty to more of sort of uh, very fine um, gelatinized sort of granules as it reconstitutes in the water. So I'm just going to set that aside and let it do its thing. The next thing I want to show you is, I'm going to use two glasses, you can see the different colors of spirulina and chlorella. There's oodles and oodles of information on the internet. Don't be afraid to Google it and find out how incredibly good this is. And of course they're featured on the internal detoxification primer which again, I'm hoping that you have watched. So all I do is take, I, I generally mix the two of them together in one glass, but I'm gonna do them separately uh, for you today. So you can see the beautiful color. And color is really, really important 
for health. A lot of people don't realize, oops, I should have gotten another teaspoon, but basically I'm using a teaspoon of each, a heaping spoon, like a regular coffee spoon or, or a teaspoon. Um, it actually probably measures out more closely to an actual heaping tablespoon if you're using a measurement spoon. So the first one I'm going to do is my spirulina. And don't worry if you overdo it. Actually, in the beginning, you may want to use less until your digestive system gets used to it because it can be gas producing as everything adjusts. So that's the spirulina. I get it from Harmonic Arts. Also, another reason for, you want to go back and watch the primers if you haven't already done so is I give you sources where you can get these products very easily and quite affordably so that you can get on your program. There's no point in me telling you how great this stuff is and then not give you a way of, getting, of uh, buying it. So now I'm adding the chlorella. Now this particular chlorella has been a little bit processed besides being dried. It's been processed a little bit to crack the cell wall so that the goodness gets uh, absorbed easier into the system. And Harmonic Arts just has fantastic products, and this is the chlorella and the spirulina that I depend on all the time. So I'm going to stir this up. This is the chlorella, and it's very, very dark green. Now, pigment is the key to restoring health. It's the pigment that actually cures disease. So these things not only have vitamins and minerals and all the things you need to build up your body, they also have disease, combating disease properties, and they also have um, life force so that they can get in there and really repair your system. So we'll take a look at these towards the end. You can see the color difference. But very, very important for, again, um, absorbing toxins out of your system, removing them from the body through the through the uh, excretory systems or the digestive system, and also building up your health, building up your stamina. So um, this is the spirulina, which is more blue, and the chlorella, which is more green. Yeah. So there they are. They're gonna kind of emulsify. I let them sit for about 15 minutes so that they kind of plump out and um, uh, easier to um, dissolve, fully dissolve, so I don't get little gummy bits. And then the next thing I'm going to uh, demonstrate, I call these my three slimes, three slimes a day. So I start with the seaweed, then I have the chlorella, then I usually have a smoothie. And then sometime during the day, I have um, the chia seeds. This is the chia seeds that I'm featuring today, but you can actually get them also from, I believe, Harmonic Arts, and they're widely available everywhere. Now, this is uh, almond milk. I make it myself. I just put a couple handfuls of almonds into the blender with some filtered water and some uh, raw cacao powder, because I like the chocolate flavor, and just blend it up really good and put it in a jar, and it's way cheaper than buying almond milk at the store. So I'm just going to take my almond milk, put it in a glass, and now I've realized that I have not brought enough spoons. <laughs> so since I'm going to consume these products myself, I'm going to do a little cross-contamination here. Don't tell anybody. I'm going to take the big spoon here out of the chlorella, out of the spirulina I should say. Lick it off a little bit. Mm. This stuff tastes pretty good, actually. Mm. I talk about detoxing from food-like products, especially sugar. An amazing thing happens. There's a prize at the end of the withdrawal period. What happens is when you're used to any kind of intense sensation, be it noise, be it physical sensation, emotional sensation, or flavor sensation. What happens is the body compensates by toning down the receptors so that things aren't as strong, aren't as intense. 
What happens is when we get off sugar and food-like substances, our taste buds wake up. Things taste different. Things taste delicious. So believe it or not, I have here two heaping actual tablespoon measurements of chia seeds. I'm just going to dump that right in there like that. Use my spoon. Stir it up. Now chia seeds, in the, when you first add them to the liquid, they start to plump out, but they take them a few seconds to plump out. So you want to kind of stir it and not leave it too long and stir it again. Otherwise, you might get a bit of a gummy uh, mass at the bottom or lumps. And I don't like lumps and I don't like gummy mass at the bottom. I like my chia seeds to plump out. They take on the uh, flavor of whatever you're adding them, adding them to. So they don't really have much of a flavor. If you, if you reconstitute them or plump them out in water, they don't have much of a flavor, which is good so if, if that's what you like. But I like the creamy almond milk, so I'm going to just stir that up for a bit. And I'm going to re-stir it in just a few seconds or maybe a minute or two so that it continues to plump out evenly within the fluid. So while these things are plumping out, for lack of a better term, I'm going to move over here to talk a little bit. I'm not used to wearing my hair down, so I just have to deal with this. We're going to talk about... Uh, detoxing your external self. So in the primer, I've already gone into all the bad chemicals that are in all the beauty products and self-care products. And you know, I used to think, oh, there's govern governing agencies that protect us and they wouldn't let them put anything toxic, you know, into our, into our products. Well, first of all, when these um, substances first started getting used, they weren't really recognized as being toxic. But now everybody knows they're toxic. And I just don't know what else to say except don't use them. Just don't use them. Save yourself a ton of money by making your own products. I'm going to show you how super easy this is. So I'm going to start off with antibacterial hand sanitizer. Now, a hand sanitizer, I like a spray. You can use the, the gel. This is an empty um, Divine Essence um, floral water container. Oops, here's one without a label. So I'm just going to use that. Let's open that up. And um, first thing I'm going to add is a little bit of water. Get a little funnel here. Messy, messy. Okay. Then I'm going to add a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. And I talk about Dr. Bronner's in, in the primer. Dr. Bronner's is amazing. It's just pure Castile soap. It's a hemp-based soap. It's so, so gentle on your system. But this is concentrates. So you might look at the price and go, wow, that's a little out of my price range. Actually, it's really not if you compare it to a lot of beauty products. But this is concentrates. So you only use a tiny, tiny little bit. So in here, I'm actually just going to use just a tiny little bit like that and you, you always reconstitute it with water so um, then you want some alcohol now you can use vodka if you want or any other grain alcohol this is uh, distilled witch hazel and witch hazel is this particular kind has been distilled in grain alcohol so you want to look for grain alcohol not isopropyl or rubbing alcohol because those get absorbed into your system and they're tremendously uh, hard on your liver this is something your body recognizes because it's essentially a food and it's not going to cause any toxic effect so you just want to pour a little of that in there doesn't you know I would say maybe half an ounce not much it goes a long way. And then I'm just going to top it back up with a bit of water. Now, I would probably fill this whole thing with water, but I'm trying to conserve all my water for the demonstration. So at this point, I'm just going to, we'll pretend I filled it right up with water, shake it a little bit, and I now have an amazing hand sanitizer. Um, you can, oh, I forgot one thing. Sorry, sorry. Ah. This is actually the most important ingredient, and it's not here. I have to run and get it. So, pause. 
Okay, I found it. Okay, if I can't figure out how to splice this into one video, you're going to have two, two live shots for step six. But anyway, this is the most important ingredient, and oh, it's an amazing product. It's affordable, and every, everybody's home should, should have it. It's called Marseille's Remedy. It's thieves' oil. Thieves' oil came, uh, became discovered, I guess, actually probably thousands of years ago, but it was a secret that the perfume and the spice merchants kept. And during the time of the bubonic plague, um, um, the whole economy was uh, destroyed. And so the perfume merchants and the spice merchants were pretty much out of work because things went to hell in a handbasket. So um, they decided they were going to remove valuables from dead bodies, from dead and dying people. And in order to not get the bubonic plague, they used thieves' oil, um, which is a combination, basically, of some very simple essential oils like lemon and rosemary and cinnamon, an amazing combination. And they found that they didn't get sick. And so they were able to go and take valuables off the bodies, which was against the law, but they did it because they had to survive. And um, this is the same exact recipe that Marseille's Remedy offers people today. So if it can prevent people from getting the bubonic plague, it can prevent you from getting all kinds of uh, viruses and bacteria. It's antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral. It is amazing stuff. I've been using it for about three, four years. I have yet to get a, a, a flu or a bacterial infection or anything like that. So I really highly recommend it. And where you can get it is also found in the, the um, external detoxification primer. But this is actually non-toxic. You could, uh, the, the, the um, essential oils in here are organic. You can actually put a drop in your tea and systemically that also helps to protect you. Interestingly enough, um, the secret got out. Uh, the story is on the primer on how the secret got out. And that was when the medical industry was just starting to form. And so the doctors wore beak-like masks stuffed with rags soaked in thieves' oil so that they didn't get sick. And that's what they used for many years to keep from getting the sicknesses that people had at the time. So I want to really stress the importance of this. So getting back to the antibacterial um, hand sanitizer. So I've just used, uh, as I mentioned before, um, a bottle from, from some floral water that I had used up. I added some water. I added some Dr. Bronner's uh, Pure Castile hemp-based soap. It's chemical-free. And um, by the way, if you're familiar with Dr. Emoto and the power of words on the um, structure of water, the molecules in water, you will appreciate the fact that Dr. Bronner, he puts all kinds of very helpful, inspiring, uh, philosophical messages right on the label. And that actually, I believe, affects the product inside. And Dr. Bronner's believed we're all one, and um, he wanted to help um, dissolve the barriers that we imagine exist between us. So it's a wonderful, wonderful product. It's concentrated. So I put just a little bit in the, the jar. I put in some water already. I put in some grain alcohol. This is witch hazel that's been distilled in grain alcohol. I've already explained why we use grain alcohol and not isopropyl and not rubbing alcohol. So that's already in there. So this kills germs. The natural peppermint uh, essential oil in Dr. Bronner's kills germs. Not just viruses, bacteria, uh, bacteria, bacteria, funguses, all kinds of things. Um, Dr. Bronner's comes in different kinds of, uh, I was going to say flavors, but it's actually uh, essential oil based scents. This is tea tree oil, so it's got tea tree oil, and those of you that are familiar with tea tree, tea tree oil might want to use that. It's great for getting rid of uh, foot fungus, you name it, it's awesome. So anyway, getting back to this, I'm now going to add some thieves oil. So I'm telling you, this is going to stop infection, germs, the spreading of anything that you might worry about uh, going out in public, especially with the rumors of Ebola coming to town. Um, okay, I can't medically claim that this is a preventative uh, substance for Ebola, okay? But hey, it can't hurt, right? So there's the Marseille's remedy. 
awesome. There are other thieves oil out there, but none of them are as pure and as good as Marseille's, so that's why I use it. Okay, so getting back to the antibacterial spray. I like a spray, it's very convenient. Okay, it's a little bit more concentrated than I would normally have it because I would fill it up with, well, I'll just fill it up with more water. Sorry. Okay. Put in some more water. Okay, I would say we have enough water in there now. <laughs> I'm going to put this back on. Shake it up. Um, you can use uh, BPA-free smaller plastic containers like this. They fit in the purse. Uh, they can fit in the pocket. They can fit anywhere. You don't have to use uh, anything this large. Okay? Oops. And you just spray it. Fine mist on your hands. Rub it in. Breathe it in. It smells fine. It doesn't smell all medicine-y. It just it smells good. And it, it won't dry your skin out. It just It's awesome. So, so easy. Antibacterial spray. So the next thing we're going to do is make some antibacterial hand soap. Oh, God. Most of them that are out there contain SLS, sodium laureth. Uh, or laurel sulfate, so incredibly toxic. You want to stay right away from all of that. So the antibacterial soap is so easy to make. Again, you just put put in a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. You know, as much as you want. I, generally, I would use a quarter to a third. Okay, and then you add water. Always add water to Dr. Bronner's because it's concentrate. I mean, I don't think it would hurt you if you used it as is, but there's no need to waste it, right? Okay, and then, of course, back to the Marseilles brand Thieves Oil. Just going to put some of that in there. You know, depending on how paranoid you are, how much you want to put in. Like, I've just put in about eight drops. That's more than enough, okay? More than enough. Okay, there you got it. Antibacterial hand soap, okay? That simple. Uh, you can put it in a pump dispenser like this and keep it in the bathroom, one at the sink. Again, uh, BPA-free uh, small plastic containers for your purse, car, boat, whatever, RV. It's that simple. Um, it's fantastic. For um, regular soap, I just use Dr. Bronner's a third, a quarter to a third of a container. Uh, I just use a, an empty soap bottle like this and top it up with water, shake it up and put it in the in the shower by the bath. That's it. It's that easy. This is the only thing I use on my hair. This is the only thing I use on my body. It's so easy. It just um, dissolves perfectly. It uh, forms such a beautiful, creamy, smooth lather. It rinses out so easily. There's no residue left on your hair or your body afterwards. Just an absolutely fantastic product. It comes in uh, with different, like I mentioned, different scents which are not artificial. They're essential oils. Uh, rose, tea tree oil, if you, you know, if your kids pick up something at school, head lice or something, um, peppermint, just so much. I like the peppermint because it gives you that tingly kind of feeling. So that's enough about the soap. So I've covered uh, antibacterial soap, regular body uh, cleanser and shampoo, the antibacterial uh, hand sanitizer. I now want to talk a little bit about body oil or moisturizing. And it's really good to put oil on your body. You don't need very much. When I wash my face, I use a little of the uh, diluted Dr. Bronner's. Um, wash my face, take a damp cloth, rinse it off. I spray a little uh, floral water. Divine Essence is an excellent product and it's, it's uh, organic. And it's just the water that's left from removing the perfumey elements from rose petals or lavender. Lavender is very calming. Rose is also very calming. I just spray a little of that on, just sort of fan my face or pat it a little and put a few drops of the oil. Now this oil is the same oil you would use for massage oil, the same oil you would use for body oil, the same oil you would use for facial oil, um, and 
yeah so what I use is is just an ordinary oil so this is grapeseed oil okay this is uh, olive oil you can use um, any kind of oil that you could put on a salad but also some that you might not want to put on a salad like apricot oil but um, they're still just pure from apricot seeds no chemicals at all and um, preferably cold pressed and as little processing as possible so basically you don't want to put anything on your body that you couldn't ingest into your system without poisoning yourself because you absorb through your skin and it ends up in there and you want to take good care of yourself so what I do is I have here some divine essence essential oils grapefruit and lemon is what I use especially in the summertime so I just fill a container like this with, with the edible oil and then I just put in I don't know as many drops as you want depending on how much scent you want okay so I might put in for a bottle this size I might put in no more than 20 drops of essential oil but lemon and grapefruit have L-limon in them and that is what they use to uh, treat skin cancer um, at least in alternative health care and so I like to go out into the Sun because I believe the Sun is very good for me you can google the Sun as a at, uh, for healing it was used as a healing um, modality back in the 20s and 30s and it's only been recently that everyone's all freaked out about the Sun so I'm not saying you should or shouldn't go out without sunscreen but I'm telling you I don't use any sunscreen and so what I use is a bit of an antidote so in my body oil in the summertime I put in lemon or grapefruit depending on you know what I'm in the mood for and I and I put that after I've been out in the Sun and what happens is it then cures any uh, skin problems that may have been caused by the Sun just in case um, other things you can use are um, rosemary rosemary is really good if you have trouble with your short-term memory students uh, in days gone by used to use rosemary wear rosemary and have rosemary on them and smell rosemary because it helped them to improve their memory when I went back to university I got great grades and I used rosemary all the time to help me remember what I was studying okay you can also use um, bergamot there's just so many but I would definitely stick to the divine essence brand because it's organic it's minimally processed and there's no chemicals whatsoever and then again you know if you're concerned about bacteria you can use some Marseilles it actually smells fantastic too so that's it for the body oil um, oh one other thing I didn't mention is coconut oil now coconut oil you put it in a glass container and you put a grab a pot and put a little water in it and you put the glass container hopefully heat proof like Pyrex you put your coconut oil in there and you warm up the water and it dissolves the coconut oil then you add your essential oils depending on what you like and you can just pour it into some kind of a little pot container it won't work with a pump dispenser because it, it gets thick at room temperature or below and so you need something that you can kind of rub and get it onto your fingers and then apply it so coconut oil fantastic for your skin another great option for massage now I just want to make a quick point here about oops I'm gonna go back and stir my chia seeds they're coming along fine I want to make another point I want to talk just very briefly about oil pulling I went to the dentist and he gave me my care plan I needed this many fillings and this much work done on my mouth and I went oh my gosh where am I gonna get the money for all the dental work and I went oh at the same time I found out about oil pulling and oil pulling is I'll tell you what I do is I take a regular teaspoon and I load it up with coconut oil and I put in some Marseille's remedy okay because it's really good at uh, being antibacterial okay so I only put like two three drops because fairly strong I put that in my mouth excuse me I set the timer for 20 25 minutes some people can't do it that long in the beginning five minutes was all I could handle and I had to spit it out but I worked my way up now I do it for about 20 25 minutes and I just swish while I run around and do my chores and when I'm done I spit it out and it pulls toxins like crazy out of your system so Google oil pulling 
on the internet for more details about oil pulling. But I'm going to tell you something. I went back to the dentist after doing oil pulling for about four months. I do it almost every day. Some people do it three times a week. And he, he did some work that needed to do. I needed a crown. He did that. And then he went to look for some of these other cavities, and they were gone, and it freaked him right out. And he's going, oh my gosh, why did I put down that you needed work done on this tooth and that tooth? And he couldn't figure it out. Well, I knew it was, it was the oil pulling. And I, I can't make medical claims in these videos because I'm not a doctor. I'm a social worker and um, a student of life, pretty much, philosopher or whatever, health enthusiast. So I can't tell you it's going to get rid of your cavities. I can't tell you any of this is going to cure you of anything. But I can tell you what really works for me and my own experience. And um, anyway, so oil pulling, I really recommend it. Okay, so let's get going here. I just want to finish up by stirring up my seaweeds that we put in in the beginning, which may be the last video, part one. We might have to do part one, part two. We'll see. Yeah, Windows Movie Maker, which is what I use, doesn't use MP4s, and my camera films an MP4. So that's sort of the situation with why. But I'll see if I can figure this out. Anyway. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's not gritty. It's not slimy. It, well, I call it slime, but it's really not slimy at all. It has a bit of a slime property when it goes through the digestive system. Mmm. It doesn't taste bad at all. It's, it's just so mild, M milder than the flavor of eggs. Well, if you don't like eggs, I shouldn't make that comparison, but just very, very mild. Okay, so now, lick my spoon. We're going to get into these. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. Chlorophyll is so good for you. It's so detoxifying. Hmm, let me see. Which is which? Got them mixed up now. Oh, I believe this is the chlorella. It's more green. Mmm. I drink it straight. I have no problem with the flavor. Very mild. Almost no flavor at all. Um, it's delicious, actually. I really like it. I find it really refreshing. You can add it to your smoothies if you want. You can take it in pill form, but be careful. Don't use uh, tablets that have caking agents. Okay, this stuff should be able should be just pressed into a tablet. It will hold its form. Mm. This is spirulina. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Watch the primers to find out, you know, what they're going to do for you. And then I'm going to move on to the chia seeds, which I usually do a little bit later in the day. It sort of thickens it. Um, you know, there are, there are the tiny little seeds in the center. But I just drink it. I don't worry about trying to chew them. Oops. Mmm. Mmm. Creamy and delicious. I like food, but I like food that tastes good. I'm not going to eat stuff that gives me the no feeling. This totally gives me the yes feeling. So that's about it for uh, external detoxification. You want to stay away from chemicals. You want to use all natural products. They're so easy to make yourself. You want to try to have your three slimes a day. The other thing that chia seeds will do for you is shorten the time you spend in the toilet, on the toilet, big time. In fact, sometimes you don't even realize the job's done until you get up and have a look, and oh my gosh, it really helps clean out your system. And you use very little toilet paper because there isn't all that mucky stuff that sticks about. So I really, really recommend chia seeds. So. That's about it. I'm just going to say a quick note about emotional detoxification. Stay away from fear-based thinking. There's nothing to be afraid of. And there's no emotion for you to be afraid of. Emotions are good. They're there to tell you when things are wrong. They're there to tell you when things are right. They're a guidance system. Nothing more and nothing less. And unless we experience our full range of emotions, we get sick. And you don't want, it. You don't want that. So feel your feelings. Feel your emotions. Be brave. Sometimes it feels awful. You know, you wake up and you've got this horrible feeling and dread or anxiety or depression, and you just accept it. Accept that's how you feel in that moment, and you'd be surprised how quick it passes. The other thing about emotions is they get somatized into the system. 
So if we don't deal with them right away on a mental or emotional level, what happens is they discharge. Your brain has to discharge that uh, energy into something. It discharges it into the body, and we have more body pain. And if we don't listen to the messages from the body pain, it then moves into disease. So please feel your feelings. They're not going to kill you. They can't kill you. And once you get off the junk and the sugar and the edible poisons that they're passing off as food out there, you're not going to have a lot of those emotions anymore. You're not going to have all the generalized anxiety and the deep depression. You'd just be amazed, amazed at the difference. I want to say that the difference that you see in my videos, especially my introductory videos of the weight loss that I've achieved, you see the size I was before and the size I am now. Okay, use that as a measurement. Same thing went with my mental health. When I was very large, 320 pounds, even 250 pounds, I was an emotional disaster. I could not handle stress. I was crippled by anxiety and depression. I wasn't living life to the fullest. So there's the same measurement of improvement in my emotional health, my physical health. Every aspect of my life has changed. So please try some of this. I don't expect you to run out and do everything Karen says, but please try some of it. Take that which resonates with you and apply it to your life. And thank you so much for joining me. And the next one's really exciting. Green, food is medicine and another source of universal love energy. I'm going to blow your mind when you find out the truth about real food and what it can do for you. Thank you.